Manhattan Propane's Ask the Weather Team night. And our question tonight comes from Mary Ellen up in Hadley. And Mary Ellen wants to know about the Greenland block. Specifically, what is it? Well, best way to show you what it is is to just show you a graphic of the main jet stream pattern. This is essentially the Greenland block. That's Greenland. Here's the United States and Canada. And this essentially maps out the weather pattern we've been dealing with now for the past uh, several weeks, really the entire month of March. It's when you get a large area of high pressure kind of stuck in the atmosphere and very high latitudes up here around Greenland. Big ridge of high pressure here and kind of a weak upper level low underneath it. And this tends to force a trough of low pressure across the eastern half of the country. Now, ultimately, the configuration of this can vary. Sometimes the trough's a little bit farther west and we can get some big storms coming up the coast. In this case, the trough has been kind of centered on us, so all the big stormy weather has been out here across the Atlantic. But what it does do is drive cold air into the eastern half of the country. It's not uncommon. These blocks happen all the time. In fact, during the spring, they become really fairly common. And if we happen to get caught under the cold, then we stay that way for some period of time. It's kind of interesting. There's some research being done now uh, trying to relate the um, diminishing Arctic sea ice to these blocks and whether that impacts the degree of blocking that can occur and how strong the blocks become. Uh, there's some suggestion that a lack of sea ice actually supports more blocking patterns and stronger blocking patterns. So it'll be interesting to see over the next couple of years how that research actually pans out because obviously that can have a big impact on causing colder weather across the eastern half of the country. If you'd like to ask the weather team a question, best way to do it is to head to our website, cbs6albany.com, go to the weather section and click on the Ask the Weather Team link where you can submit your questions there. Okay, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the Greenland block and Punxsutawney Phil might oh. be working together somehow? I don't think so. Oh. Since Punxsutawney Phil is actually a living, breathing creature <laughs> and the Greenland block is not. I